All right, ladies and gentlemen, we just got back from doing a shakedown run of Hurricane Creek. I've been going back and forth with grab handles. Now, on the new Jeeps, you have this grab handle right here, which I use, and I also have this to grab onto. But I had the hanging ones, but they're floppy. So you go to grab them and you have that torsional sideways issue. So I saw a video on this, on these right here. And what I like about them is that this part is soft rubber, but they go in above like so. So you have a handle right here. And that's technically when you're sitting down, this is gonna help you out more than anything else. So super easy instructions. I'll put the link in the description below for this and kind of show you guys how it works. You don't have to take the tops off to put them on. It's basically, they're basically screw on. So it also has a hook on it. You can hang air fresheners or whatever, but you have a bolt. Well, actually you don't even need a screwdriver. They give you an Allen, an Allen head. All right, so as you can see, I do have the bolt started. And do now is rotate, rotate this like this to line up to that hole. So you're gonna rotate this over, line it up with that hole. You get your long bolt, start it in there, and then you're good to go. So I switched it to the shorter bolts and they stick up just a little bit, but the, lo the longer ones didn't hit the top, but um, I do have little caps I could put on there. You can get from the hardware store. But better yet, I would just put a bigger washer on there, on that end, and I'll bring that in. All right, let's do the other side. All right, here's the final result. Make sure you use the shorter bolts because the longer bolts do stick up too high. But <clears throat> plenty of room. Doesn't interfere with your head at all. The door closed. It's like perfect for driving. Lots of room. Put all my weight on that. I can really lift myself up with that. And what I like about them is that they're not hanging in, in view. So normally the ones that go on the roll bar hang down low and they do kind of obstruct your view, getting in and out. So this is more up and out of the way. They do clear. They do have a little hook on here. You can hang something on and they do fit good. So. That's it. Thanks for watching this far. Please like, share, and subscribe for uh, any of my other modifications I did to the Gladiator. You have the Anvil Overland bar right here. That's a Pro Clip phone holder. This holds my GPS, my Garmin Inreach Mini. And this obviously holds my tablet. I do have an install video on the paddle shifters off the 392 Wrangler. All right. So the reason why we go on these shakedown runs is we see what works, what doesn't work, and what we need to change. So as you guys know, I had all my heavy tools in this box, which I kept right here. Not only is that weight higher up than it needs to be, it really needs to be sitting on the bed. There was so much weight, the box was flexing and it kept falling down into the hole. So you can see the box, the bottom of the box is like kind of warped. It was a lot of weight though. Yeah, see that? It's kind of, it's warped. When we go on these trips, we kind of make revisions. Hey, instead of doing it this way, try it this way. So what I'm gonna do is my Jeep has a storage underneath. So what I did was put it, I like to keep these unplugged out of this because the kids will kick it with their foot and break them off in the ports and those are not fun to fix. So what we're doing is switching it to in here, which I used to keep my uh, defense shotgun locked in here, but. So we're gonna put all the tools in this heavy box and then my tool case is gonna go under the driver's seat. That way, all the weight is down low and helps with your center of gravity. So seat all the way back. Yeah, that's gonna really be perfect. Then we have access to our tool kit right there. And then all of our other tools are in there. And then that frees up one bin right here. 
I can still keep my clothes. I love this, keeping all my clothes in this bin back here. I have little individual knapsacks for, you know, myself or James, and then one for a dirty hamper, keep towels in there, and it's really easy, accessible to grab, to change and stuff, especially when the kid like pees or paints or something. So that clears up one bin there. I don't know what else to put back in there, you know? I love having the toiletries back here, but this does move around a lot. So I'm probably gonna move that. Like I liked having it right here, but this has turned into a pain in the butt. So we're gonna move this. Yes, this is gonna work out fine. 